And there's the tip. We are going to take that tip and do our usual fast break, easy, instant, two offense at the beginning of the game. Because that's what we do. That's our signature trade. That should be called the signature trade. It's called the. It's only available to centers and people taking the tips. It's called the AT29 Sprint Fast Break. Sprite Slam. <laughs> Damn. Yep, that's what it's called. Carlos Boo's going up, knocking down that left handed hook shot. And we need to see him do more of those in real life. We need to see him actually provide an offense a lot more. But, uh, to be honest with you, I think Carlos has had his time with the Bulls. And I don't think he's coming back. They might amnesty him next season. I don't know what's going to go on, but that's just what I'm speculating. Taj Gibson should be kind of starting. I think he should start next game if we want to see the Bulls have an attempt of a chance winning the next game against the Washington Wizards. Because the Wizards are just straight up killing the Bulls. I think the Bulls are down uh, three to one. Yeah, the, Liz the Wizards, the Lizards, the Wizards lead three to one against the Chicago Bulls in that series of the playoffs. Lou Aldang just cutting his way inside, shot fake, caught everyone off guard, and getting that easy two points. And yeah, mm -mm -mm. Trevor Reza scores thirty points as the Washington Wizards take a three-one lead. Damn. Hmm. This is not going so well. The Chicago Bulls had a bit of a weird season. I mean, they did all right, I guess. You know, they did pretty good, actually. What am I saying? Without Derrick Rose, they managed to come through with it. Uh, Joe Kim Noah played his heart out. and He's an all-heart and soul player, and he's got that trait. Best believe he's got that trait. Going up for the alley-oop slam. And nobody was protecting the rim, so we thought, you know what? Slam! Let the boys be boys! Who remembers that Onyx song? That's old school right there. Backing down our opponent, we see Lamarcus Aldridge, who I thought he would take full advantage of that mid-range game, but he decides to give it back to us. And Derrick Rose, well, we're going to hit him with the Kareem Sky hook, and we had a timeout called after that. We get sent to the bench. Joe Freeze looking at me like, hey, man, you want some gum? I don't want no gum, Joe. Let's just hurry up and get back into this game. As you can see, we are down by two. Send the pick for Earl Watson, who I thought would have been smart enough to go straight towards the basket because we got Derrick Rose completely off guard in that. Hey. No matter, we got the mid-range pull-up too. Carlos is left down there alone. I thought he was pulling up. You know my theory behind all this uh, defense. You give him that false sense of hope, and he likes to shoot the mid-range shot, and I know I got the height advantage to block his ass. But no, he decided to go inside, and we're going to do the exact same. Throwing it down over Carlos Boozer. He's going to be like, what the F just happened? I'm like, sorry, Boozer, man, eh? Just got to do it, man. Uh, I know he's not uh, got that type of accent. It's like throwing it out there. I don't know. I'm just weird like that. Joe Kim Noah going up, and I'm grabbing that rebound, dashing down the court. Nope, nope, not going to happen. Tony Snell managed to pick it off because he felt the ball hit him in the back. He's like, what the hell was that? <laughs> oh, man. If only the defense was like that in real life. Like, somehow we get a lucky break against the Wizards. But anyway, I'm going to start talking about the Wizards-Bulls game because that's just a depressing series to watch for me as a Bulls fan. <laughs> going up for the... Ali, you once again, we're bringing some excitement to Chicago, blocking Derrick Rose not once but twice, and dashing down the court. Um, I was about to say for a guy called Rudy Gay, that's from the Los Angeles Lakers, my GM series. Look who's been found, Wes Matthews. Give me the ball once again, going inside. I see LaMarcus, uh, but he gets picked off, and that's some bad defense on that. That's not bad defense, what am I saying? That's good defense, the defensive half of the Bulls, but bad offense from our half. And I'm going to call for the ball, I'm going to go straight up. Derrick Rose ain't doing nothing, and we get the layup right there and I need to ask you guys a question since we've got the lead right now I was planning and you guys have been saying do another my career player so in the comment section below let me know what position you want to see but there is a catch to this there's a height restriction if it's a point guard he can't be under six foot tall that is it if you want to make a real-life replica of myself in NBA 2k I can try it it's going to be one weird looking mofo, but hey, I can try it. <laughs> and I'm down the post. You see Derek Rose reaching, but who do we find? Nick Batum going inside and giving us the easy two, baby. Yeah. Lou Aldang is going to try and look for revenge. He's a shot creator, apparently. So, hey, whatever, Lou. Just do what you got to do. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but hey, it came out the way it did. And I want to say I'm kind of want to predict the finals for the Eastern Conference. The Eastern Conference for the Western Conference, I should say. I don't know why I said Eastern Conference yet. Yeah, no way the Bulls are going to be playing in the final of the Eastern Conference without Derrick Rose and a secondary scorer. But yeah, I want to predict the finals for the Western Conference uh, in the game, actually. So the prediction is OKC versus Portland. I'm going up for a reverse lip because they don't miss, and we're just trying to get the points going. And of course, my teammates help scoring, and I put in some scoring elephant, elephant effort. 
Wes Matthews pulling up for the nice easy two right there. So according to the My Career series, it's going to be an OKC Thunder Portland Trailblazers final for the Western Conference. That's going to be something crazy to see. That's according to my series. It could go either way. We don't know how far the Portland uh, Trailblazers might get. We just pinned that shot off the backboard of Andre Miller. Get out of here, man. What are you thinking? Uh, so that's going to be something crazy to see. Imagine if it happens. Because I didn't expect the Portland Trailblazers to get past the Houston Rockets. And it was something like Jacoby said the other day on uh, Grantland. We might be witnessing Dwight Howard's greatest performance in a single playoff history so far. Then they realize, wait a minute, we're probably re witnessing the greatest performance from LaMarcus Aldridge's career so far. Which is crazy. I was like, damn. It was a battle of the bigs. And of course, people are sleeping on a, a Mavs Spurs uh, playoff round. I mean, VC hitting that game winning shot the other day. Woo! That was straight up killing them. As you can see, the Bulls have managed to come back into this game. We are up by one, and there's no guarantee of that until I decide to pass LaMarcus Aldridge, who wants to increase the lead. That's it, LaMarcus. That's the right-hand man right there on the left-hand side of the video, or the left-hand side of the wing, I should say. Derrick Rose is bringing the ball back up the court. He's going to look to get instant revenge, but we're leaving Jimmy open wide, Jimmy Butler wide open. Jimmy, Jimmy Butler wide open? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm losing my mind. We're going to try and block Jeff Teague. I thought we should have blocked that. That's some weird-ass shit that's going on there. Derrick Rose taking full advantage of being left open. The game is tied up. Well, it was tied up until we knocked down that jump shot. And now, well, he got a two-point lead. Need that a four-point lead. Ugh, it's not going so good. It's not going so good. We got to really try and make a comeback happen, especially in the early beginning parts of the fourth. I mean, it's still seven minutes remaining. I find LaMarcus Lowers down there. He's finishing that basket, and that is fantastic. As I got to say, Derrick Rose going up. Missing that. Grabbing the rebound. D. Rose is on the floor. We got to take advantage. If he is not up and running, we can be up and running because he will keep up with us. No problem. Marcus Aldridge gets blocked. We grab his rebound. Shot fake a couple of times to get the defense off balance. And we are finishing that basket. And there's something I really want to talk about as well. Uh, Twitch. I do s randomly start streaming at Twitch. On Twitch, I should say. And it's freaking hilarious. You be sure to follow me on Twitch. The link is in the description. Same for you, stream. I will start streaming live uh, shoot arounds once I'm better because I got tendonitis in my left ankle. And man, that is a bish. Uh, yeah, and also I want to talk about this Donald Sterling thing. There's no place for racism in basketball. I mean, there's no place for racism at all in real life, to be frank with you. I, I think once human, like humans, I don't know why I'm saying that as if I'm not a human, I'm saying just in general. Once we can overlook race, religion, class, anything like that, I think that's when we'll truly know peace. And Jimmy Butler showing no peace to the rim. Look at that ferocious jam. That's just my thoughts, by the way. My opinion. I say that all the time. I don't know if I say it on the video. I say that in real life. I'm going inside and throwing down because Jimmy Butler just embarrassed us with that dunk. And we are definitely trying to get back in this game. We are down by one. I am going to keep calling for the ball at this point. Uh, Nick Batum taking full advantage of that screen. He should have got the ball given to him, but he got picked off. Earl Watson gives it right back to us. And I've got a head of steam right now. I'm going inside, kicking to LaMarcus Aldridge. He's going up, missing, grabbing that rebound, going over Joakim Noah. He may be the defensive player of the year, but there was... No block on that play. I know there should have been a block on the play. Well, not a block to say, but, you know, he put up defense regardless. We are still down by one. So, in this situation, what I'm going to do is call for the ball. When I get a full head of steam, I'm going to just take it at them. By all means necessary, shot fake, going inside and getting the basket to fall. We are up by one. This is turning out to be the game of dreams. Uh, Carlos Boozer versus Lamarcus Aldridge missing that shot right there. That was a big no-no for the Bulls. For we are coming back right now. And I am calling for the ball. I don't care who else is wanting it. I want it. Give it to me. Wes Matthews, give me the ball. There we go. I, I see an open player, I will happily kick it to him. Earl Watson is the perfect example of that. I thought he would have shot it, but hey, he did the smart thing, giving it right back to us, and we get the and one player to go down. Joe Kinoa. Mm -mm -mm. That was a bad move on his behalf, because that foul might have just cost them the game. I'm getting up off the floor, and we are going to go to the free throw line to knock down this free throw and convert and get that three point play going. Derrick Rose putting up a Hail Mary 3, it's over. We can just go up to the court and just hold the ball, but they decided to foul us. And you know me, I won a championship in the rookie year. Bam! Free throw number one is good. 
I can't say the same for free throw number two. I may be clutch, but mm, I miss mistimed. I was about to say misread that situation. Mistimed that free throw. Derrick Rose is going to do what Derrick Rose does, and he is going to try and pull up for that shot. So we are pressuring him on defense until he gives up to Rule Dang for three. He's off the mark. Carlos Rue trying to go for that rebound. I'm up court. Well, I was going to go up court, but I was too slow. You see Nick Batum. If Earl Watson kicked it to Nick Batum, it would have been great. But that is it for this video, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, please hit that like button, that subscribe button. Uh, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Wine, Twitch, and New Stream. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. And they've done it, the new NBA champions. The celebration begins on the hardwood. Really a mixture of emotion. And you gotta believe it's one that can hardly be described accurately. Well said, Clark. This is exactly the moment they wanted, and quite a contrast indeed of emotions. Well, as much as you'd like to clinch it in front of your home fans, guys, there, there's something really special uh, about doing it on the road and just seeing the shocked faces uh, of the home crowd and, and the silence that envelops the arena. It, it is quite an accomplishment to do so in the face of such adversity. And now we go down to the Phil O'Brien Trophy announcing the NBA Finals MVP award winner. Thank you to these extraordinary NBA teams. We're the Eastern and Western Conference champions. These are two very worthy teams, but there can only be one champion. So congratulations to the fans, the coaching staff, and a wonderfully talented team. Your 2014 NBA champions, the Portland Trailblazers. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the uninhibited joy, I mean, the exhilaration that comes with winning it all. And Clark, these home fans, a celebration they can only witness in frustration and disappointment, Steve. It is some kind of feeling, certainly. Yeah, it is. For, for these fans, I mean, to come so close, uh, almost getting there with their team, now all of a sudden to have to watch the opponent celebrate on their floor, a bitter pill to swallow for sure. And now our attention will turn to the floor and NBA Commissioner Adam Silver for the presentation of the Bill Russell NBA Finals MVP Award. A tremendously talented player and deserving the award named for Bill Russell, the ultimate champion. Congratulations to the winner of the Bill Russell NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Mark, I can speak for myself, but hasn't this been a tremendous playoffs? It really has been, Kevin. I mean, you never know when you start the postseason what you're in store for, how things will turn up. But we now all know what the end result was. Steve, I know you've enjoyed every second of this series. Yeah, it's been phenomenal to watch, Kevin. And, and what impresses me the most is, you know, the NBA playoffs are such a grind. Uh, to win it all, to go through so much adversity, the roller coaster ride of emotions. And now, all of a sudden, this team uh, can just relax and let out everything and enjoy the night. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. For Doris Burke, Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer. Just a monster series for you guys. Winning in a sweep with hardly any resistance. Did you see this one coming? Oh man, maybe not the way it went down, but I think from early on, we all knew this team was special. Whew, man. Look, we set it as a goal from early on in training camp that an NBA title was the one and only goal. And we all went out there and busted our behinds and made it happen, baby. It's not an easy thing to do either, but you know what? This ain't even the end. I hope we right back here again next year.